Okay, once you've made a copy of your related service documentation form, you're going to open it up in your Google Drive and just take a look at the questions um, it, you're going to respond to each time you provide a service. So the location of where the session was, how long it lasted, start time, end time, the type of service, the treatment code um, the for the first 15 minutes and then for the second 15 minutes, assessment, um, how you want to measure their progress towards their goals and your plan of care and then any comments or other data collection that you've done for that session. Now, if you want to change anything, it's super easy. So for example, um, here, if you know, you're all, you never treat for 15 minutes, you can just remove that. If you never treat for 60 minutes, you remove that, you know, so you can change whatever you need to. If you, if you frequently work on the playground and you can type over other and make that. So that it's very, very customizable. And down here for the treatment code, same thing. If there's certain ones you never use, you can just delete them. So, but you want to get it right for what is going to work for you because you're going to be making lots of copies of these forms if you want to use it in the schedule. So if you have student number one, who let's just call him Johnny, and he gets services Mondays at eight o'clock in the morning, we're going to want to copy this form, a link to this form. So we're going to click the link button, we're going to shorten the URL and hit copy. Now we're going to go over to the copy of the schedule you've made and we're going to write John's name in there. I'm going to select his name. I'm going to hit this link button, insert link. I'm going to right click, I'm using a mouse and hit apply. So now when I open my daily schedule, and when after I've seen John for his related service session, I can just hover over his name and then this will come up and I can fill out the form that I've created. Oh, I saw him on the playground. He was seen for 30 minutes, start time, end time. Um, we were doing therapeutic exercises and dynamic activities. Um, for goal number one, I saw some progress and goal number two, we just introduced it. So the plan of care is to continue services and I'm going to hit submit. So now that response has been recorded. So when you come back over to your form here and you will see that response there for John. Now for the next half hour session, you see a student named Jill. You obviously don't want to save Jill's form, Jill's information on the same form. So we're going to go back over to student ID number one, see these three buttons, we're going to hit more, make a copy. So copy of student ID number two, we're going to change this right away. We're going to call it student ID number two and click OK. I'm going to change the name of it here as well. And now we have a form for Jill. So again, we're going to click send. We're going to get that link that we can put into our schedule form. And we see Jill at 8.30 on Monday. So I type her name in there. I select it. I hit the link. I'm pasting it in. And now at 8.30 on Monday mornings, I'm going to hover over Jill. And it goes right to her ID related service session. So it's really a great way to keep your schedule and your documentation forms all organized in one location, especially if you're um, using Google tools, this is really convenient. And um, you know, you would just continue to do that with all the students you have. Now, on Tuesday, if you have a group with John and Jill, you can have both of their names in there. Just make sure that you link John's form to him and Jill's form to her. So um, here it is again. I'm going to put it over here. And then if you um, see them on another day as a group, you can just copy that whole box. So John and Jill are also seen 
on Thursdays at 9.30. So, and now they're over there too. So when I hover there, okay, this is John's and here's Jill's. And it's just a super simple way to keep track of everybody. So let me know if you have any questions. You can email me mrice at yourtherapysource.com.